Tulsa police homicide investigators have solved more than 50 murder cases in the last 12 months. But there are two cases that happened a week apart that are still open. Nakari Owens and Terrence McElwee were shot and killed exactly a year ago this week in unrelated shootings, but both are tied to the same after hours club. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter has been following both of the investigations and talked with detectives today about where they stand. Reagan. Jonathan and Tatum, investigators say both murders are tied to what used to be the kickback club. Investigators say Terrence McElwee was shot and killed after leaving the club. Then Nakari Owens was shot a week later inside the club. Investigators say they have a pretty good idea of what happened in both cases, but need evidence. The Tulsa Police Homicide Unit is known around the nation for having a nearly 100% solve rate. And up until a murder just this past weekend, detectives had solved every murder in the last year except for two. Investigators say Terrence McElwee had just left the kickback club and was the passenger in a car going south on Highway 169 when another car pulled up next to them and someone inside opened fire. McElwee was shot in the head and died. And we think this one probably originated out of Muskogee uh, beef between some Muskogee people, uh, possibly gang members. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, he, he got killed here in Tulsa. Police say just a week later, 19-year-old Nakari Owens got into an altercation inside the same club. Shots were fired and Owens was killed. A lot of witnesses there, a lot of people out, but you know, so far we haven't found a whole lot of people willing to uh, show some intestinal fortitude and help us out with this. There's been a lot of uh, people just not wanting to get involved and don't want to do the right thing. Lieutenant Brendan Watkins says open cases like these can be frustrating, but they are committed to solving them. And sometimes it's a marathon, not a sprint. We get the word on the street always comes back to us pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, we need evidence. You, you know, we can know who did it, but without evidence, we can't um, we can't move forward. The ABLE Commission served a warrant here at the club about a year ago last August and say the club was operating illegally without a license. Now, if you have any information about either one of these murders that could help investigators, call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Live in Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.